Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the solution of the problem that is number following a pattern. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? Given a pattern containing i's and d's, i for increasing and d for decreasing, devise an algorithm to print the minimum number following that pattern. Digits from 1 to 9 and digits can't be repeated. So what they are saying is basically we are given a string which contains i and d. Okay, i means increasing, d means decreasing. Now if there is a i at a certain point of time, then uh, there should be an increment in the number. Okay, so we need to uh, derive a number which follows this pattern. Okay, in that number the digits will be from 1 to 9 and the digits can't be repeated also. Okay and uh, it should be as minimum as possible and uh, if there is a i then the next digit should be increasing and if there is a d then the next digit should be decreasing at the respective place okay so if we look at this example so there is d now understand one thing if the string length is one then the output will be of two length why let's say string length is of three okay it means uh, there are three points where i can say decreasing or increasing now if there are three points the number of digits should be four so I'll compare first and second digit, second and third digit, third and fourth digit, then there will be three times increasing or decreasing. Okay. So there is decreasing. So uh, the uh, if I uh, relate first and second integer, then there should be a decreasing relation. So one uh, two is uh, greater than one. So uh, one is decreasing, right? From two, we went to one. Okay. And this is the smallest number possible. Okay. Now uh, here it is uh, i i d d d. So first it should be increasing, then increasing, then decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. So it is uh, first increasing from 1 to 2, then from 2 to 6 also it is increasing, then from 6 to 5, 5 to 4 and from 4 to 3 it is decreasing, decreasing and decreasing. Okay. Uh, so you can look at the example uh, explanation here and this is the smallest number possible. You don't need to read input or print anything. Your task is to complete this function which takes the string s and returns a string containing the minimum number of following the valid number okay the expected time complexity is big o of n and expected auxiliary space is constant and the length of the string cannot exceed a an eight okay and in the question we were said that uh, in our answer string we only need to take digits from one to nine and no digits can be repeated okay here we also do not need to repeat any digit because the uh, length of the string can be at max eight so the length of the answer can be at max 9, right? Because length of the answer is always one more than the length of the string, okay? So now if we think about solving this problem, then one way to solve this problem is by the brute force method, right? So if there is, let's say, a string, uh, let's say, i, i, d, d. So uh, our answer string length would be 5, okay? So first of all, it will be increasing. Then also it will be increasing. So this is increasing. This is increasing. Then it would be decreasing. Now you cannot repeat, okay? So here you cannot take 2. So this might not be a valid possible answer, okay? So you can take 1, 2. Okay, then I think you can take uh, 5, then you can take 4 and then you can take 3. So this is increasing, this is increasing, this is decreasing and this is decreasing. Okay, so this condition is fulfilled and you get one answer. Okay, so what will be the brute force method? Brute force method would be to recursively place all the possible digits at uh, uh, different places and try all possible combinations and whenever we satisfy this condition, uh, we will uh, compare it with the answer string and among all the possible strings we will take the smallest string possible right so that will be the brute force method but that will go into exponential right so we need to think of something efficient here the expected time complexity is big o of n that is the length of the string okay so now what efficient can we think of see what we can do is let's say you have decreasing 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 okay so now there will be three decreasing relations so one you can take is nine eight seven six another you can take is four three two one now you need to take the smallest possible so this is your answer and this is not your answer right first thing second thing is so if there are three decreasing i need four digits which are in decreasing order okay so i can start with four that is the best option with me okay are you getting my point if there are three decreasing uh, so there will be four digits for this 3d respectively so uh, i need four digits now i want them to be decreasing so uh, what i can do is best option is start with four then three then two then one so this is what we need to take care of 
now another thing is we cannot repeat the digits okay so let's say if i have increasing then decreasing decreasing then first of all i want to increase so now here i cannot take two or three or four so i need to take five right but if i take five i will not be able to decrease two times okay so i think the best option would be to take seven and then six and five okay so this is decreasing this is decreasing this is decreasing this is increasing this is decreasing and this is decreasing and there is no repetition of characters okay now so seven six five were the smallest possible three digits which i needed to take in place of this 2d uh, in order to satisfy the condition that uh, it is decreasing it is lexico it is the smallest number possible and there is no repetition are you getting my point otherwise i could have taken three two one but there should not be any repetition also so now first of all when we want to compare two numbers how do we compare so let's say i have two numbers one two three four and another is nine one 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 which number is smaller this number is smaller right how do we compare we start from moving from left to right and whenever we get a mismatch we compare those two characters now this is smaller than this so this number will be smaller than this number irrespective of what the other digits are there on the right hand side and this is true for same length number okay and here whatever string we generate their length would be n plus one only okay so this is the concept okay when you are comparing two numbers which have same length or same number of digits you move from left to right and uh, whenever you get a mismatching character uh, that you compare whichever uh, string or whichever number has that character smaller that is a smaller string or number irrespective of the characters on the right hand side so now combining these two concepts let us uh, take one example okay so let's say we have a string d d d i i d d so it is decreasing 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 then increasing increasing then decreasing decreasing so what we will do whenever we find a d we will find the consecutive number of d's and then we will see what we can fill in this Way. like for example here we were able to fill 4 3 2 1 so whenever uh, there are d we will keep counting whenever we encounter i we will first fill the remaining part okay so uh, here uh, the string length would be how much this is how much 7 so our answer length would be 8 right so here i encounter d then d then d so total 3 d's are there and then i encounter i so whenever i encounter i first of all i'll fill the uh, remaining part before i okay so now there are three d's so i need four values and i have not taken any values so the best values will be four three two one right because i need to take the smallest possible values right so that we get the minimum number and we fill it in this way okay don't worry about the implementation we will also have a look at it how we will implement it now we will move on to this i okay now whenever we encounter i we fill the values we fill the remaining values before it now uh, when i encounter this i this value is remaining to be filled which was re with respect to this i right whenever there is d we just keep counting the consecutive number of d's whenever there is a i we fill the uh, remaining part before i so now uh, uh, when i encounter this i the number with respect to this i was remaining now what is the smallest possible number which can fit in this place it is 5 right so i will take 5 okay now i will encounter d so i will just keep on moving i will encounter d so i'll just keep on moving i came out of the string now here there are three possible values and uh, i want it to be uh, de increasing decreasing decreasing now this increasing step we do not need to check it will by default be increasing why because we are not repeating the characters and from the starting we are filling the smallest possible values why so that we get the minimum number so we are filling the smallest possible values so the next value which i can fill here is either 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 so there is no question of re uh, uh, repetition and the smallest possible values are filled in these five places so here definitely a number bigger than that will come okay now what i see that three places are remaining to be filled so what are the smallest three values which i can take it is eight seven and six because here it was five so i need six seven and eight so this is increasing and this is decreasing decreasing and this is the smallest possible number so just to conclude what we will do we will move from the string from left to right whenever we encounter d we just keep moving uh, we will count that okay this many characters are left to be filled whenever we encounter i we first finish the uh, remaining part on the left hand side 
side and then move further and in this way we get the uh, smallest number possible with no repetition and also following this pattern now how we will exactly implement it let's have a look at it so now if we look at the implementation so this is the string in the input then i have taken one answer string and then some variables uh, we will see their use now the n is the size of this string and I have taken one stack and size of stack uh, SZ represents size of stack and I have pushed in zero. So what basically it denotes, see what we said, whenever we encounter D, we will not fill in the string. We will just mark it that these many characters are remaining to be filled or these many indexes are remaining to be filled. So how we will know that these many indexes are remaining to be filled? We, whenever uh, we skip a index, we will not fill it. We will push that ins index inside the stack. Okay and sz will represent the size of the stack which will be used further and first of all i'll push to zero inside the stack why because let's say i have only one character d so what does that denote that second character is smaller than first character right but first character we are not starting to fill immediately because if there are two d's we might fill three two one if there is only one d we might fill two one okay so it will depend upon the pattern so first of all i pushed zero inside the stack then I have moved from i equals to 0 to n. First of all, if s of i is i, that is increasing and else part. So else means if s of i is d. What I said, whenever we encounter decreasing, we will simply push that index inside the stack. We will not fill it and size of stack will become plus plus. Whenever we encounter increasing, we take j equals to j plus size of stack. So what is basically j denoting? j is the denoting that start from this number to fill the remaining characters okay so what uh, i am trying to say is let's say uh, if i take this example okay so first of all inside the stack i pushed a zero then i encountered d so i pushed inside the stack one then i encountered d so i pushed inside the stack two then i again encountered d so i pushed inside the stack three my size of stack is four and now i encountered increasing so i want to fill the four values inside the stack j was initially taken as zero so what i will say j equals to j plus size of stack size of stack is 4 uh, this is 0 0 plus 4 is 4 so i i will start filling from 4 until the stack is empty so i will say 4 3 2 1 now j value is 4 okay remember this now i encountered this i again but i pushed this i index inside the stack so i will pop out these all elements because i have filled it and inside the stack i will push 4 for this i now when i encounter this i i again need to fill this index because whenever we encounter i we will fill the remaining indexes on the left side now it is 1 so j will be equal to j plus size of stack size of stack is 1 j is 4 so it will be 5 so it is telling fill 5 here okay now this will be popped out now i encounter d and d but before that i will push this index inside the stack so i will push 5 then I encountered D, so 6. Then I encountered D, so 7. Okay. Now we came out of the string. Now I want to fill these three indexes. So J equals to J plus size of stack. So that is 5 plus 3. That is nothing but 8. So it is telling me start filling from 8 and go in downward direction. So I said 8, 7 and 6 until the stack became empty. So I filled three places and this is my answer. So J basically denotes from what character I'll start and uh, I'll keep on moving, uh, I'll keep on decreasing one character. Why decreasing? Because whenever we encountered increasing, we filled the remaining part. So we will not encounter uh, increasing, increasing. We will encounter decreasing, decreasing, decreasing only together when we are filling the stack. Whenever we encounter two i together, we directly fill uh, for one position, then move on to next position, right? So J is basically used for that, okay? So if we look here, I have said k equals to j and while size of stack is greater than 0, answer equals to answer plus k plus 48 to convert from ASCII value to numerical value or oh, sorry numerical value to ASCII value and then convert it into character k minus minus and size of uh, stack minus minus. Now why I used k instead of j because I do not want to lose j's value right it will be added on top of stack every time right on top of stack size. So we cannot lose j value and here we had to decrement this uh, uh, variable. So I took k and I decremented it until the stack became empty and then I pushed the ith index and made size of stack plus plus okay. Then why, when we came out, it might be possible that the stack is not empty. So there are some possible characters to be filled. So I'll say j equals to j plus size of stack, k equals to j and while size of stack is greater than zero, fill in the values. And then finally, I'll return the answer string. What would be the time complexity? Time complexity would be big O of n, where n is the length of the string because we are using one for loop. Okay. 
what will be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here would be big o of n because uh, the answer string will contain n plus 1 characters now let's submit this code so let's submit it so we have solved this question successfully i hope you have understood this solution completely thank you